exists with subselects. The exists operator tests a subselect for the existence of one or more rows. The exists operator returns a true value when even one row in a subselect matches the value comparison in the subselect. The exists operator returns a false value when no rows in a subselect match the value comparison in the subselect. The not exists operator returns a true value when no rows in a subselect match the value comparison in the subselect. The not exists operator returns a false value when even one row in a subselect matches the value comparison in the subselect. Here we see the format for the keyword exist used with a subselect. Exists does not try to compare on values, so it has no comparison operators. It is common to use select asterisk in an exists subselect because the column values do not matter. Exists is simply testing for the existence of any rows, so format the subselect any way you like. It does not matter how many columns or rows are returned by the subselect, one or a thousand. If the subselect returns at least one row, exists is true and not exists is false. If the subselect returns no rows, exists is false and not exists is true. If the subselect returns a row that is null, exists is true and not exists is false. Here is an example. Get the description of all vehicles from the inventory table where the store in the store table is in the country of USA. This is a correlated subselect because the where clause in the subselect is matching data to the table in the outer select. The outer select must be processed first and each row is then processed against each row in the subselect to obtain the results. As you can see, only stores S001 and S004 are in the USA. So the descriptions returned are Solar Wind Cargo Ship, Large Work Crew Cruiser, Personal Luxury Cruiser, Large Lunar Lander, and Medium Passenger Cruiser. Please pause this presentation to study the details. We hope you found this information useful. Please come visit us at ComputerBasedTrainingInc.com for courses with more examples and labs where you create and execute complete commands.